Right, today I'm going to have a look at this. Um, I've just got this. It's a Viarauk HW97K um, blue laminate, 177 calibre. Now, I've had a 97 before, um, an older version, um, a very old version actually, uh, in a beach sporter stock. And this is the new version of it in the blue laminate. I think the internals have been updated very slightly and obviously uh, it's got this lovely blue laminate stock. So let's have a little look at it, see what you get. So first thing, pretty much everyone knows about HW97s. Been around forever and a day. Uh, one of the best winning field target rifles ever. I think it's fair to say. And, and still now in the Springer classes, uh, tuned versions of these rifles are still winning um, and this is I think this is the latest incarnation this one's been out the shortest time amongst them all I think this is the blue laminate so it comes in this I think it's a Minelli made blue laminate stock very very nice it's sort of this dull matte finish uh, mixtures of black greys and the blue still got the little bag rest cut out in the back of the stock but it's not quite as noticeable in the laminate uh, no checkering or stippling on it, unlike the green HW77 that I've got. So there's no stippling, no checkering at all. It's all smooth. But nonetheless, it's a nice um, grippy stock. Ambidextrous. So left and right-handed choosers can use it. And uh, comes well down the rifle and ends in this sort of little sort of semi schnabbly type thing, I suppose, at the end there. All in all, I've got to say, I love it. It looks absolutely lovely on the rifle. Suits it. Um, I like laminate stocks. And I like this dark laminate. It looks very, very classy uh, on this very, very classy rifle. Um, so, standard 97. Um, a barrel weight come moderator at the end here. Uh, this actually works reasonably well to uh, subdue the noise for a Springer. Standard barrel release on these now is the uh, the push catch thing at the front. So you just push it in, push it in. It's a bit difficult one handed, but there we. Go. Yeah, it's push it in to release it, and then it just comes loose. It's got a little rubber O ring on the end there, just to buffer it out when you put it back in, and stop it rattling about. Not that there is any rattle. It's a vire out, so it's extremely well engineered. Um, very nice that very secure but easy to release I know I didn't make it look like that but I'm trying to film it with one hand and release it with the other it's not the easiest in the world um, come to the breech standard sliding breech that we're all used to by now the thing I like about the 97 is that it goes all the way down to both sides as do the new HW77s as well um, so you've got plenty of room uh, to get in there to load your uh, breech directly into uh, your pellet directly into the barrel uh, which is nice uh, and that was one of the updates uh, on the 97 over the 77 uh, the 77 originally had pretty much like the air arms still do a sort of half scalloped breech so this bit here was solid so it made it slightly more fussy to load and also if you were a left ha uh, left hander it made it even harder because the metal work was actually across here where you want to get in to put your pellet in. But now that on the 77, as is the 97, they've cut it right back. It makes it much, much easier to load your pellet. 11mm grooves. Nice polishing and bluing again, as you come to expect from Viralk. Uh, for some reason, the barrel and under lever and the little silencer come barrel weight are slightly better polished than the action. I never understand why that is, but it seems to be the case that on all Viraux, the barrels are always seem to be slightly uh, heavier polished. The superb record trigger unit, probably the best Springer trigger unit going. Fantastic, no creep really adjustable and you get a nice light but safe crisp let off dead predictable it's a fantastic trigger uh, when you think how old it is 
Um, they're still struggling to get anything really in springers that beat it, uh, especially full power springers. Really nice trigger blade as well. Uh, grooved, really nice. I, I think I've grown up with these triggers, so you get used to them. I've shot bloody hundreds of these triggers. I must have done over the years. Um, so you get used to them, but I still think this is one of the best triggers, if not the best Springer, full power hunting Springer trigger going. It's fantastic. Standard uh, automatic via out safety catch that everyone knows about by now. And the butt pad ends in a standard via out uh, rubber end cap, which is nice, non-slippy, grooved, looks the biz. All in all, I've got to say, this rifle looks incredible. It really does. They are beautiful things. Shooting about 11.5 foot-pounds. This is 177 cal. Um, supremely accurate rifles, these are. As you can see, I've got a one-piece uh, sports match mount on it. And I've got my uh, Schmidt Bender fitted to it. And I think that that looks phenomenal and it shoots beautifully. There is some spring noise on it that you get from all uh, brand new fire outs, it seems. Um, and I think what I'll do when I get a chance, I'll just whip the stock off and put some uh, light LT grease on the, uh, on the spring like I did on the HW77. That seemed to kill the noise, kill that twang a fair bit um to be honest though whilst the twang doesn't sound too nice it doesn't affect the way this thing shoots it's pinpoint accurate easily outshoots me um you know most of these top end springers now unless you're a devastatingly good shot they will outshoot you they're far more capable than the uh, the person that's doing the shooting um so if you don't get good groups normally it's not the rifle, it's the person shooting. And I've got to say, these things are quite, they're a lot, um, they're a lot deader than they used to be. And they seem to be easier to shoot these days. These modern springers are definitely easier to shoot and easier to get good results with than the, uh, than the earlier guns that were a lot more lively. Um, I think it's because they've incorporated a lot of the techniques of the high-end tuners have now been incorporated into the rifles themselves. So they've all got uh, sort of synthetic spring guides. Um, the piston heads now are a lot more technical with like buffering things on them and all the rest of it. And I think generally speaking, they're just, they shoot like the tuned rifles of before. Though having said that, there are loads of tuning kits um, and loads of places you can send these off to get them tuned. And they do make a difference. They will get rid of that um, spring noise and they do feel a lot more thuddy. Just like you get just like a dull thud once they've been tuned. But even straight from the box, yes, it doesn't sound wondrous because you can hear that little bit of a spring boing. It's nothing bad, but you can hear it, but it doesn't really affect the way it shoots. Uh, this thing can outshoot me easily. Beautiful. Weight wise, um, actually feels a little bit lighter than the beach stocked um, one that I had before. Um, perfectly capable, I mean I'm not a big chap, but this is a perfectly capable field rifle. I don't struggle to carry one of these around. Uh, admittedly, I wouldn't want to spend all day looking over hill and dale, but, but um, for general purpose, all round hunting, it's not a problem one of these rifles. Um, Build quality, fantastic as ever. Backed up by a really good guarantee. I think the whole cartridge have been importing these for ever and a day now. Tons of spare parts available, hundreds of them. Easy rifles to get. Every gun shop's got them. Nearly every gunsmith that I know of has worked on it. Hundreds of them, so they know what they're doing when it comes to spring changes and stuff like that. Um, so really, you can't go wrong with one of these. And the price is amazing. You know, you're looking at probably one of the top-end Springers in a laminated stock from Minelli. Um, and it's like sort of the price of an entry-level cheap Chinese or Turkish PCP. 
I know what I tune her off. So there you go. HW97K, the carbine version. Beautiful. Shoots brilliantly. Looks gorgeous. Built. Lasts forever. So I will be taking this out and doing some videos of me actually shooting this thing at some stage or other. Um, just keep your eye open for those. But all in all, what a beautiful rifle.